making sure I feel <laughs> feel. <laughs> Hello my beautiful babes, what is up? It's Brandy. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here and if you are new, welcome. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys this extraterrestrial alien look. I really wanted to see how far I've come since the first alien look that I did on my channel, which was like two years ago. I am so proud of myself. I love this look and just to see how far I've come is truly mind-blowing. So yeah, if you guys want to know how I create this look, then you should definitely keep on watching. Here we are back again with another look. You guys, I am so nervous because the original look I had planned didn't work out the way I wanted to at all. The color was just way off. I looked like a Pepto-Bismol or like if someone threw it up. It just looked so bad and I even told my mom that and she was like I bet it looked fine and I showed her a picture and she just started laughing I was like see I told you I'm like I'm glad my pain the other day brings you happiness right now so here we are trying the same concept but completely different let's get started I'm gonna begin by taking some glue I got this at the dollar store with this I'm going to push my brows up, make sure they're nice and coated, because we are going to cover them up. There's always at least one look so far during my Halloween series that I always cover my brows. Putting pressure on it to make sure they are all flat. <laughs> what a look. By the way, as you guys can see, I have two lovely acne scars going on. I put Neosporin on them because I kind of picked and I didn't want them to leave me with crazy texture. So I covered it up with a band-aid. This morning, I started taking this one off. I'm like, ow, why does it hurt? And then I looked closer and the band-aid kind of took a little bit of my brow hair off. <laughs> As if my brows don't struggle enough to look there. I just got another shot in my hip this time. I feel like it's gonna work. I just feel so happy. I want to cry, but I'm not going to. I can't tell you what an emotional roller coaster it's been to deal with my hip. I mean, you guys have kind of seen with my vlogs, but it's just been such a mental like even though I know that there are other people who have it worse than me I still have every right to feel the way that I do also I just applied some color corrector that way the brows can be a little bit more covered <laughs> when I go in with concealer wow I didn't um I didn't look at them wow that's a look I'm just grabbing my Jeffree Star magic star concealer and placing this right over oh <gasps> this is the best blocked brow i've ever done before and i've done <laughs> a few of them grabbing some translucent setting powder and my sponge placing i did not tap the excess off <laughs> just tapping that all over because we need to lock these brows in place they cannot be seen or shown same thing ignore me <laughs> ow i just hit myself <laughs> now it's time for the face paint i'm going to be using my moran 30 count palette as well as their brushes starting off with this beautiful bright pink shade called light pink simple as that <laughs> i forgot that this is just a very simply named palette. I'm gonna start with this 820 brush. I oh that was my wrist. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna apply it any better. Using some water to activate the paint. I pray I have enough left because <laughs> I used so much the other day. Placing this all over my face. Making sure I don't grab too much water. Because if I have too much, then I'm it's just going to be patchy. Starting off with sheer layers. 
I'm gonna go into this beautiful purple and place that right over. I hope this works out. So I just went in with some of the pink, trying to blend it out evenly as fast as possible so I don't get any streaking. So I'm just gonna try and continue that method throughout all over. So far, we are off to a good start. Hopefully it stays like this. I did set my face with some setting powder, which was a good idea. And then I forgot that I had to go in with white paint. So don't do that. I'm going to go in with the white and slowly do a thin line above my eyes. By the way, I'm using their 812 brush for this. Dragging it out to a point and doing like a fox eye. From here on out, I'm going to rotate between these two brushes. This is just a regular eyeliner brush and this is actually from the Moran brush set. Now, I have hooded eyes, so for this, I'm going to look straight ahead and go above my crease. That way, when I look straight ahead, you're going to be able to see the design. I'm going to do my best to try and speak and show you guys. If I can't do that, I apologize. I hope you guys can still get the picture. Starting off very slowly. Trying to not make this that thick. But if it happens, it happens. <laughs> then just circling it back down. That's exactly what I want. That's the idea. Hallelujah. <laughs> From here, going to the corner of my eye and basically following my natural shape, almost if I were to do a cat eye. I'm going to stop the wing right there for the moment and go back to this little swooshy swoosh that I got going on. So once it starts turning downward, I want it to begin to go upward. This is just the backbone and the guide to the actual graphic. So I know it's incomplete. It kind of looks crazy, but don't worry. Trust the process. Because guess what? That's what I'm doing. <laughs> From the tippy top of this little corner, dragging it down, then connecting it to this wing. Now that I have this crazy shape, I'm going to slowly... Fill it in, making sure I fill everything in minus this inner area right over here. It's time to add the little details around the eye. I'm so sorry if you can hear that. That's Sadie eating her dry. <laughs> I don't know why she's so loud. Um, so with the white, I'm going to do a small line above the little wing. This is not perfect at all, but it's okay. Nobody's perfect. Neither is an alien. So <laughs> doing the same thing just in this inner corner. I'm going to start basically where my brow would normally begin. Slightly go up and curve it just like the other one. My hip is starting to kill. <laughs> And that's just putting it lightly. I went and I got a little seat cushion. Made it feel a little bit better, but oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. When you can't even sit and be comfortable, it, like it's just so frustrating. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have filmed today. I said, you know what? I'm probably going to be in pain. Let's not. But I really wanted to. And you know what? Even though I'm in pain, it is so worth it right now because this is coming out so darn good. I really love the way this is looking. What I want to do could seriously make or break this look. I don't know if I'm willing to take the chance. Um, you know what? We're just going to go for it. From the corner of my eye, I'm going to go below my waterline, making sure it connects nicely to the wing, and then slowly dragging it a little bit down. And when I get to the outside of my eye, I'm going to begin to curve. Do another little loop-de-loop, -loop, come all the way back. It's alright if it's not all white. Again, it's just a little guide. Doing another curve when I go to the outside of my eye. And then bringing it all 
the way down to basically the end of my nose. One side obviously came out better than the other in regards to the little loop-de-loop. -loop. Overall, it's not that bad. Moving on to the lips, I'm gonna start off with a line in the center and then do like a triangle but make it very sharp. So very pointy. I'm basically going to do the same thing with the top except make two. So where my lips naturally go up, I'm going to do a line going down from here, connecting it by doing a little U shape and then curving out the outside. <laughs> it looks like I have something crawling out of my mouth. Once that's done, we can begin to give the face some dimension. I think I'm gonna start off with the shade Blood Queen and start by doing the collarbones. <laughs> I forgot what they were called at first. That's just a little bit harsh so I'm gonna take Royal Pain and use that to buff it out as much as possible. This is probably gonna look a little bit strange but We've looked stranger. So I'm gonna like suck in so I can shadow that area. For my nose, I'm gonna take Royal Pain and a little bit of Vivid Mood. I'm gonna take that down how I normally would contour my nose, but making sure I take this all the way up basically where my brows are and blending that upwards and out. If it gets on the paint, it's okay. I can always go back in with the white. I honestly can't get over that the Halloween series is basically almost done. After this, there's one more. It's definitely a bittersweet moment because I can't tell you how much sleep I have lost over this. <laughs> the amount of stress because I started late this year, so I've been grinding harder like I've never grinded before, filmed three times in a week, edited, posted it, did TikToks, edited all those, the IG photos, there was just so much and somehow I managed to get it done, which makes me very proud of myself to know that I can do anything I set my mind to. Not like I didn't know that, but sometimes when you have so much to do, you can kind of just fall into this rut where you just don't want to do anything, and sometimes that's me. So I never know which side I'm going to get, if that makes sense. I'm going to lightly start, start, I'm going to lightly drag those same shades upwards. I feel like it's just a little bit too bold. I'm going to go into Deviant, which is the shade that has finally hit pan, I'm very sad because I use it the most, obviously. And just putting that right over, stamping it, and lightly blending it. Doing the same thing on this side. And just lightly tracing the little curve we already have right there. I do have a mirror in front of me, but I also like to double check with the camera because sometimes the camera picks things up that I miss. I'm gonna follow my hairline just a little bit and just contouring how I normally would. I need to make a new video because how I contour now and how it used to are completely different. I want to brighten up the inner corner so I'm gonna go in with my powder and just really pack it on outside the nose, under my eye. The powder definitely helped, but I want it to be more. I'm going to go into the midi breaker and grab bubble gum and place that right where I normally would contour. Not contour, like highlight. <laughs> Placing a little bit in the center my nose and then lightly blending it upward if I need to I'll go into the shade deviant if I feel like it's just a little bit too pink 
but for right now I like it I almost forgot one other shading and that's around my lips going back into bloodlust and taking blood queen to add some dimension to the lips a bit it looks a little crazy oh this tickles <laughs> I thought the top tickled the bottom is even worse oh my goodness switching over to royal pain placing that right next to blood queen then a little bit of pigment and my pills on the outside um so my camera battery died and I didn't realize it so it kind of missed a little section all I did was go in with what was it I can't see the name blood queen yes I can't read that far <laughs> So I took the shade Blood Queen and I just lightly ran it under my lips like this to give my lips a little bit more definition so they're not lost and slightly up on top. This highlighter you guys is so beautiful. It's definitely more on the chunkier side but just look at that. I just this really isn't doing any justice, but when I turn it, you can kind of see the pink reflect in there. I'm going to wet my brush a little bit. <laughs> the spray got caught on my finger. Swirl it around. Dab off the excess. There's no mirror. And lightly tap this on the nose, right under the wing, a little bit on the cupid's bow. Just for shiz and giggles, I'm gonna take this one. The other one was called Lick My Glit. This is in the shade Gag Me. The same formula, but this has a little bit of blue reflect. And I feel like, since we already have like that pinkish purple, I'm gonna place this on top. Since I don't have brows, I'm gonna put this right in the center. I gotta mix it in with the other shade, but oh, it's so cute. I love it. I just threw on some mascara and even added some highlight basically where my brow would be. I feel like I just gave it a little something extra. And because I feel like I just can't be glittery enough, I'm gonna go into this gorgeous shade, which is called Wet Jewel. And this is a glitter packer brush. I'm gonna try to pick the shade up with that and place that right on top where this pink is showing. For the gems, I was gonna go into one of these beautiful colors, either pink, light pink, dark purple, purple, something of that sort. But then I remembered I have beautiful stars. Oh, I, wow. There was such an easy way to open it and I just destroyed it. Oh well. And what I'm gonna do is place a little bit of lash glue up on top. Grab a little star. Ah! Where's my tool? I thought I could do it without my tool, but clearly I need it. Oh, there it is. Oh, my tool doesn't work with this. I'm just gonna place that right at the tip like so <laughs> gotta pucker your lips like this <laughs> don't ask me why the little mermaid just came to my head right now but it did i love sebastian he's amazing doing the same thing on this side i still look crazy even though most of this look is done <laughs> kind of concerning so the other ones were mixed shapes these are different sizes of little circles and i'm gonna see if i can find a decently small one and since these are big enough i can use my fingers i didn't even check to see if i got out the right size yes i did okay <laughs> my tool actually does work but for some reason it's not picking up the color pop ones i don't know why it's just anti color pop they are not the same size No, they're not. <laughs> oh my gosh. I grabbed the wrong one. All right, let's hope. Oh, it was still wet. Cool. So make sure you pay attention to which gem you're holding. No wonder why it was a lot easier to put on my face. It wasn't the right size. All right, guys. So this is the final look. What do you all think? For me, personally, considering that this is my second attempt 
attempt <laughs> what <laughs> attempt on this concept changing what i originally had drawing that on paper and then actually executing it i am very happy with this i really do love it let me quickly go over some of the details that i did while i was off camera because honestly it was low-key a lot and i didn't even realize it like i just got carried away so let's get into it <laughs> i put a lot of got to be glued in i actually mixed these two beautiful highlighters that i used on my face the gag me as well as the lick my glit all over my hair i hope you guys can see it for my blush i actually mixed like four shades believe it or not and even though i'm pink you really can't 100 percent see it i feel like unless you look to the sides that like you can see the blush the contour a lot better than if you were to look straight ahead at me i went in with my sigma cheek palette i took pet name pinkin and a little bit of mod mauve as well as the blow up doll shade in the beauty killer palette another tiny little detail that i did is i went into bloodlust took a little bit of blood queen a very tiny concealer brush and with that shade i just lightly went around the white because i felt like it was missing a little bit of something i felt like it added a hint of dimension so i went all the way up on here around and down i didn't touch the top because i didn't want this contouring to like flow in with the eye makeup and last but not least i added a ton of jewels i put the remaining stars on my body i think they look so cute i wish i had like six more to do another row like this you know what i'm saying i feel like that would have given it a little bit of extra oomph but overall I really do like the chest. I also added these jewels that I got, I believe, like two years ago at Claire's. They have a whole bunch. And I decided to do fake earrings on my ears. I didn't want to put my actual earrings in because I didn't want the paint to somehow get into my ears or ruin my earrings. The chances of that happening are probably very low, basically slim to none, but I just didn't want to take that chance, so I did little fake ones. I got a big diamond, small diamond, and a little circle. I used these in the first video I did, which was for the Green Fairy. If you guys haven't seen that, I'll have that link down below in the description box. But I went ahead and mixed the shades that we used for the body, so the light pink and the purple, and I went into the Bloodless palette again and mix the shades deviant as well as blood queen to really deepen it up i got these from she in for i think it was a dollar such a steal but you can also get like a three pack on amazon where they have a whole bunch of elf slash fairy ears it all depends on what you want to do and yeah you guys that is basically it for today's video i hope you all enjoyed if you did please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel as well as hang the notification bell as always all the products i mentioned today will be linked down below in the description box i love you guys so so much and i'll see you all in the next one bye guys